Welcome back to more Bard's Tale to the Destiny Knight. I am your host, the Game Hoarder. We've got the party leveled up. We actually ended up getting to level four and very close to five for some of us. Uh, so we're getting an extra attack for our fighters. And Klot and Ronstock, of course, got their next bit of spells. So we have Zabar's Street Light spell at this point, which is uh, basically a light spell. We have Scry Sight, which is kind of a wizard eye spell. It shows us location, different locations in the labyrinth. We have Air Armor, which uh, gives the caster armor. Quick Fix, which of course heals. We're all familiar with Quick Fixing. Uh, Vorpal Plating gives our weapons the ability to do more damage. We have Holy Water, which is good against Undead. Area Enchant. Uh, this... Uh, was in the last game as well. It helps you find these stairways. I didn't use that a whole lot. Mage Gauntlets uh, makes party members' hands or weapons more deadly. So this is kind of a buffed up version of Vorpal Plating, Mage Gauntlets. And of course, Withered Strike turns things old. We remember how what a pain in the ass being turned old is for our party members in the last game. Ronstock has Mage Flame, Trap Zap, Arc Fire, Freeze Foes. This is a good long distance spell. Works at 90 feet. Uh, of course, the Magic Compass, which is uh, a lifesaver in the dungeons. Sorcerer's Shield protects the mage only. Uh, battle Skill will increase the party member's skill with weapons. And Word of Healing. This one heals a little bit better than Quick Fix. This does 4 to 16. And that's where we're at. It's getting nighttime, so I'm just going to head right to the starter dungeon. And we're going to take the stairway into darkness. Yes, spell points are difficult to come by in early stages, but I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to get to it. It's our first secret door. Uh, we also do not know our direction currently. I guess we could just use a lamp with you. Cannot stack lamps like you can arrows, apparently. Shame, shame. We'll get our magic compass going as well. And let's start exploring the dungeon. This is what we do and we do it well. I'm going to pretty much play this just like I did the first game going to use any maps or anything until I start getting either stuck or we're doing a cleanup where I've uncovered a majority of the map and we're just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Whoa! Thought this was a beginner dungeon. Let's just cast some magic. Get used to the interface again. I'll go ahead and just leave the battle speed like that for now. We'll be battling quite a lot, so... Examine the chest. Yes. This is why we need trap zap. 
Um, it looks like I clicked on the wrong damn thing, though. Go figure. Off to a great start. All right. And hey, look at that. We're ready to level again. usually try to get the circumference of the dungeon mapped out and then I like to work my way inward. Holy shit, we have some black priest. That sounds racist. Cast uh See, those other guys are at 30 feet, I think. Let's see what happens here. Black Priest quick cast Quick Fix. Healing each other, that's always good. See AI that's actually using its brain. Oh, got a little trap zap effect now. Yeah, definitely need to make sure we're trap zapping. Or opening these chesticles. Beware the creature that lies in the middle of darkness. Okay. Hopefully we don't find any darkness too soon. I don't like darkness. Darkness sucks. There are some scribblings on the wall. The princess lives. That's good to know. Because if she was dead, we would not get a reward for finding and saving her. Give me blood, you scream, as you face a warrior and four skull wardens. Okay, well, the warrior is within range. Uh, I didn't bother getting ranged weapons yet, which was... Not very smart on my behalf. Yolo throws an axe at the skull board and hits him and kills him, in fact. Splitting his cranium wide open. Oh, well, skull wardens are uh, undead. That's good to know. Holy water will take care of that little problem. And we find some gauntlets. Which we will most certainly equip. You can see Lo Wang's armor is already better than... Oh no, wait. We had him in chainmail, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure... What level it's what level is when he starts being better without armor? Um, but it's pretty noticeable. He starts dropping much quicker than anyone else. Looks like we're getting the east side here. I'm going to kind of zoom through this as much as I can just because it's the starter dungeon. I'm not expecting anything too wild. Enjoy your next life, you snarl. You see four warlocks with little gummy worms coming out of their cowls. Ooh, they decided to advance on us. Probably a bad move on their behalf. <gasps> Arc fire misses YOLO. Someone's gonna find something, and if all six don't find anything, there's still a trap. An area is impassable. Seek entrance by phase door to learn the secrets of double doors. Of the double doors. 
Okay. Well, we don't have phase door right now. It would be nice. Cause it looks like I'm stuck in this pathway here. any of our secret door spells yet. Solid! That's interesting. Three doors that all lead to the same place. Oh goodness, this could be the darkness. In fact, we... Area curse is detected. Darkness, all right. That's a pretty cool little effect. attacked while we were fiddling around with our lamp some conjurers came upon the party and we decided to kill them this is also called the dark domain it's its official name it's also known as the starter dungeon so that's what it is. I believe it's four levels deep, so I'd expect us to be here for a couple videos. For showsies. I did quickly uh, glance at all the maps throughout the game, just because I'd like to see what I'm getting myself into when I start any RPG. I got some interesting rooms here. And yeah, the, the maps looked quite daunting compared to, comparatively to the first game. Um, but hell, anything is daunting when you don't know what you're getting into. Lug Lug swings at the Black Priest, hits both times, and does 53 damage. I can safely say that guy is dead and probably has a severed head. smashing people by the way lug lug uh, has his official comic cover art is completed I've been working with the talented Sci art studios and lug lug is gonna officially have his own comic book so uh, it's all fan art driven right now it's gonna be in the world of Dark Sun where lug lug was born uh, completely open game license so Wizards of the Coast cannot do shit uh, unless we try to sell it for money, which we are not yet. If it becomes something that becomes popular, then of course we will look at doing different worlds and things that we can publish safely in. I'll be working uh, closely with the artist and doing most of the storyline myself. Um, but very excited to get the cover art from him today. 
I'll at some point do a little upload on that. Hopefully when I have some more to show. Um, but it's looking good. It's looking pretty good. If you're on my Facebook as a friend or if you're on the Game Hoarder Dungeon on Facebook, um, you can go check out the art there. I did post it. If you'd like to join the Game Hoarder Dungeon, well, search it and join it. You should be able to find it. somewhere or not I might need to get in there from the other end that's that's a tricky thing about Bard's Tale is there's doors that can lead off the east side and end up into the west side or south to north and vice versa some of these doors just have no purpose whatsoever which I find very interesting Interesting little locations. I have a feeling we are going to want to go in that darkness, but I'm trying to uncover the rest of this first. <laughs> Pirate Goblin. Your onslaught is greeted with laughter. You face two trickster goblins, seven warriors, and five burly ogres. Wow, that sounds like that could be tough. Do a ranged attack with uh, our axe here on the warriors. We'll go ahead and do some uh, wither strike on the ogres. Some arc fire on the warriors. Oh, crap, that's 10 feet only. Derp de der. Tough call. I can maybe go for a defend here. We're going to get low on spell points very quickly. Good gold and some mithril scale as well. Viper, she could use it. Very interesting level indeed. And level design. Oh shit. That doesn't look good. It's the Guardian. He's blue now. And he looks like Slimer. I don't think that's undead. 
think we'll cast some restorative spells. Restorative spells, yes. Arc fire, and eh, maybe get some damage in there as well. Oh, ouch. And he turns old. What a bastard. Looks like we can't hit this guy. I might as well try holy water for the hell of it. Okay, holy water does work. Unfortunately, we got turned old. And that bastard really wasn't worth crap. This door here looks as if something was trying to get out. Well, we let it out. So now we'll need to return to town to get rid of that old status. But hey, look at this. Why don't we pop over there and do that now? I can also level up here. We might as well. And selling all that good stuff. The temple will be open, however, we'll need to wait till morning to go visit Garth and the review board. No. 600 cold. That's always an ouch early in the game. But I also think it's worth the sacrifices early in the game as long as you are making headway on your money. fight archers. I don't have melee. Alright, so let's sell shit that we don't need. Cool. We can chuck spears. That always helps. Uh, we got a lot of money. Let's see what we can get here. I do think it's time for a fire horn. I deserve it. I've been a good boy. I'm going to go big on this. I'm going to get some diamond plate. And a diamond sword for Lug Lug. Because I'm greedy like that. Hawkblade goes to 50? Well, I don't know if that was necessarily a good buy. I completely didn't see that the max went down that much. Yeah, that's a 33 max. That can do quite a lot. Um, crap. You can't use it. Uh, probably better for this. Probably better to trade out the halberd. Uh, better minimum damage. Lose a little bit of max, but the hit ratio goes up, so that's a safe trade. That means we can sell... Sell the regular harp. We're not going to need that.
Don't have diamond helms for sale, but we do have adamant helms. Those are nice. Let's get uh, let's get a couple of those. Really, you want to get some? All right, I'll give you some. Probably should have saved some money because I think our spellcasters are going to be able to get spells. However, we don't necessarily even need to go level yet. I think I'll give both these helms to. Oh, she already took one. There we go. It'll bring our AC down quite a bit. That's respectable. That's without a bard song. And with the bard song. I'll go get our levels. If we can't afford spells, that's alright. We'll come back and grab them later. We want the spell points. That's the important part. I'm going to go and pause the camera, level up, and we'll be right back. Right, right. So we need 2,000 gold <laughs> to level up with our magic. Um, as you can see, it's showing us the little sun symbol there. It even says, Cloud is ready to learn level 2 magician spells. Find the review board and bring 2,000 gold. Laying it out real nice and simple. Lug Lug uh, reached 100 hit points at level 5. So off to a great start with that. Um, as you can see, again, our stats can go, I believe, to 20, one of the commenters said. That works for me. So we need to go get some gold to earn those spells. Um... Got a little excited. I wanted that diamond plate, and I could afford it. So, hey. Lug Lug get what he want! Oh, God. It's Jeff again. Leave me alone, Jeff. El Jefe. Back to the Dark Domain. Uh-oh. Someone's pissed off Chewie. He is going to go F some S up. Alright, back into the dungeon. Might as well use up these lamps, no? Oh, I forgot to go get my XP. Shit. Let's run over to Roscoe's real quick. That's him right there. I love the simplicity of this town. Much more simple than Scarbray. Uh, we will be traveling to different towns in this game. There's an outside world, so I'm excited about that. Kind of like that transition from Eye of the Beholder 1 to 2. When you first got out into those woods, I'll never forget that day. Stepped outside of the temple or whatever, the starting area of Eye of the Beholder 2, and man, I mean, I'd already fallen in love with Eye of the Beholder 1, but 2 was definitely my shiz. Amazing games. If you're interested in seeing my let's plays of them and you haven't, they are super old school. I've one of the first ones, one of the first games I did. Um, I saw my buddy Byron that started doing let's plays a little bit after I did, eight nine years ago. Uh, was going through all of them, doing it with a single character, which is a pretty interesting idea. I may uh, entertain doing that down the line. But for now, we're going to focus on things and stones that have not yet been overturned. And uh, I want to get into the Wizardry series when I finish up with this and, of course, Might and Magic. Which I am now on Dark Side of Zine. That'll be the last one that I do. I'm not going to jump into Might and Magic 6, 7, and 8 right away. That'll be down the road as well.
Cobalts. It's kind of the last thing I'm worried about. But we'll go ahead and put a squirt of holy water on the undead. The Skull Wardens can cast Arc Fire on us. You can see they got red eyes and red chesticles. have enough money for one of our party members here let's give since I'm too uh, derp derp to rem remind myself to get a bow oh look now we can only dual wield if we take our shield off we can't have that on as backup uh, let's try it that way let's see if I can just use it if I equip the arrows let's stack these He doesn't have a shield, so he should be able to equip that and that. Um, but then again, we discussed this in the last Bard's Tale. Why give Yolo a ranged weapon anyways? He should be spamming the Firehorn. I feel guilty having the Firehorn in the starter dungeon, but hey, I could afford it. out the middle of this bad boy. <laughs> okay. Easy enough. Still not going to the dark room. Oh, wow. Two berserkers already. I'm glad that they redid some of the graphics on some of the characters. Um, most of them, it seems. Alright, berserkers go down. Barbarians. That is a previous pick or a pre previous uh, animation from Bard's Tale 1. Uh, uh, and there goes the fire horn of devastation. close to having the 4,000 we need. Oh hell, why not? We need all the experience we can get. Forty-nine charges in the horn, and uh, I'm not sure if they fixed this, but as far as I know, we can still sell it back at one charge and then rebuy it and uh, have it fully charged. It basically costs us 1,200 gold to recharge. Worth every penny. That dude chucked a spear at me. Alright, we 
officially have enough to get our spells. That's enough to make me run out of the dungeon and grab it. Some kind of room here with apparently no secret entrance. not going to level the party members until everyone can level so we're just going to grab our spell so we're getting mithril might better armor can cast that on other party members which is nice oskin's ogre strength uh, star flare that's a nice spell six to 24 damage at 40 feet i used that a lot in the last game he borrows mystic shield we will use this in conjunction with uh our sanctuary song We most certainly want that. Uh, blinding. We can blind enemies 20 feet away. Causes them to miss. Lesser revelation. Is uh, basically like Mage Flame. Also reveals secret doors. That's a good spell that we're going to start using. Same with Levitation. It gives us a 75% chance to avoid traps. Um, not too worried about these in the starter dungeon. I'm not. We haven't ran into any traps yet. Uh, when we start running into traps, that's when I'm going to enable levitation. Uh, and then War Strike lets us do 5 to 20 damage at 20 feet away. So, good spells we got this time. Casting that right away, obviously. Okay, it's the guy from the dungeon. He's Running over here to get his ass kicked. Uh, oh crap, now we can all level. Might as well. <laughs> Alright, we're back. We're leveled. We are escalating levels quite quickly. It's a good chance we will hit level 8 before it's all said and done or level 7 rather wow death reapers and a swordsman as soon as I go downstairs death reapers not sound good that does not sound good at all Not too shabby, not too shabby. I haven't tried the bow trick yet to see if Viper can get off arrows without having the longbow equipped. My guess is no. You don't know to try. Or until a subscriber tells you otherwise. Your foes seem endless, their tales unknown. This is the end of the giant's tale. OK, 
Okay, let's go visit up here. You can see I'm trying my best to avoid the dark room of death. But I'm pretty confident whatever lies in wait won't be uh, alive for too much longer. Oh yeah, there's going to be something good at the end of this. In a room beyond the dock lies the bite behind the bark. To avoid a gruesome fate, line your arrow true and straight. Okay. Cannot wait to find my room of 99 skeletons. Did I do that? Get another save going here in case I blow shit. Oh no. These bastards. Whatever, let's kill it. Okay, Firehorn works great. Me likey. Two brutes, a burly ogre, and four warlocks. Trying to save my spell points as much as I can. I don't know if I can light these rooms up. Let's try. Oh, my lamp is dead. stairs down. I thought the darkness was going to come back. I'm not a fan of these guardians turning me old. guardians they're not even worth getting turned old really all right this I can deal with that anymore. Oh god, these bastards. Did I 
defend, defend, defend. Firehorn, this blue bastard. Holy water him. Cast War Strike on him. Just don't let him turn us over. It's not worth fighting. I have no idea how to get over to these other places. We probably should enact. Uh, where is it? That's a revelation. Ah, it's one darkness spell right there, right in the center. Ready to level and get more spells. Um, Man, we're running low on uh, spell points, though. Ron Stock is our trap zapper this time. You, if you uh, recall, in Bard's Tale 1, Ron Stock started out as the magician, and Clot started off as the conjurer. Um, the game decided to reverse this, and I said, okay, why not? We're going to make them both anyways. I think we'll come down here and fart around, because there's not much to do up here on this other level. I'm not sure how to get to these two areas. Probably phase door. As per the uh, little spell we found earlier. Or the, the riddle. It's probably how we're going to get in over here as well. So. I think I just missed that space there. And then we need to find either a door or a phase into there. Not sure if there's anything of interest. I'll probably look it up soon out of curiosity. Other than that, the map is complete. Let's go check out the Dark Domain level 2. And probably a good idea to save as well. We don't have our spells to warp around and warp out of dungeons yet, so... step on that? Sure, why not? Ah, that's a portal going lower. Fair enough. Eight Drens. I don't know what a Dren is. Some kind of cultist or dickhead wizard, maybe? Come on. Well, that's that. The Drens smoked my ass. Alright, that puts us over here. Something odd. That was a trap. Uh, that also that was an anti magic field, even worse. Ori anti magic and a dra dra uh, 
Drain Health Aura. Which is, of course completely screws up our compass. Silenced our music, we encountered another trap, so these rooms just all kind of suck so far. And something draining our spell points. Okay. It's probably time to leave. That room was not nice. get put in darkness again. Oh darkness my old friend I've stumbled into you again and you turned off all my fucking spells now I'm walking around in darkness and hell little Simon Garfunky for you Of course you're back. I'm in chicken shit mode. We're just trying to get to the exit here. Leave me alone, mouth. I may just level up our wizards because we, we might very well get the phase door spell which we need. Meantime, I'll take my spell points back and we'll go get healed. Just in case anyone wants to mess around with us in the streets. Got them street beats. I'm not big on the spear. Unidentified arrows. Those are always fun. Oh shit, they're arrows. Thanks, thanks, Garth. That's super big insight there, man. Regular arrows. Appreciate taking my money. At least we can change in between the uh, different party members. Diamond shield for 8,000. <laughs> that is not cheap. I think we end up using bracers instead of chainmail. Let's get some of those for low wing. I like being able to take his armor off. I've got Ali's carpet. Should be good armor for these guys.
Oh, and we're going to want to save some gold. Because when we level, I think it's going to be 4,000 for our next level. So let's hang on to some gold there. We're going to make... Okay, I guess you guys are just throwing on the carpet. That's fine. trying to figure out why their armor class is different. They both have robes and they both have that carpet on. Um, they both should be affected by these spells equally as far as I know. I'm missing something. That's not surprising. over here. I'm just going to wait till we can level everyone else. We'll come back. Big fight. No, 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 no. Firehorn. Yes. Fried that ass. Sometimes I click the wrong area. Girls don't like it when you click the wrong area, gentlemen. Make sure you're clicking the right spot. Unidentified instrument. And darkness. And stairways. And now we'll get our light spell back up. And we'll see you uh, folks here next time for some more Bard's Tale. The Destiny Knight. See how far I can get before we hit our 60 minute mark. Three Cranboss, a Man Masher, and three Mongrels. Hold on. This could be the epic fight we've been waiting for. I think I'm going to go all out on this guy. It's a group. Eh. That only works at 10 feet. Guess you guys are defending. A man masher. <laughs> 13 points of damage, not bad. Alright folks, that wraps it up. We'll see you soon for more Bard's Tale 2.